This video shows an MTM install on an Eaton Endurant transmission. The tools used in this video can be found in Eaton Toolkit RR2011TR. This video is to be used in reference to the transmission service manual. Make sure to keep fingers clear from pinch points and hands out of the transmission while spinning the input or output shaft to line up gears. Install the Rail B engagement tool and make sure the synchronizer shift collar is in neutral by shifting forwards or backwards with the tool. It's in neutral when the arm is straight up. Next, install the neutral gauge and shift Rail C and D shift collars to the neutral position. Once Rail C and D are in neutral, you can install the MTM alignment tool with the words clutch housing facing up and pointed towards the clutch housing. Once the MTM alignment tool is installed, make sure the neutral gauge slides into the grooves of the alignment tool smoothly. If they don't slide in smoothly, the transmission is not in neutral. Next, you need to make sure rail lever E is centered under the hole in the alignment tool. If it's not, you can shift it with a shift bar if needed. If you have to shift rail E, you may need to spin the output shaft of the transmission while prying to get the gears to mesh. Using the same MTM alignment tool from the previous steps, install it on the MTM with the end that says bolt hole into the bolt hole. The MTM shift forks should sit in the grooves when they are all lined up properly. Using the neutral gauge fork, check that rail E is in the correct position. There are two notches. One says gear side actuator and one says fork side actuator. Gear side is for the transmission and fork side is for the MTM. When all of this is done, you are ready to install the MTM. If the MTM hangs up and does not fall right down, pull it back off and recheck the position of your rails and shift forks. If everything was done correctly, it should fall right in place. 